Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning back into another Reaper Hollows YouTube video. I did just get back from my local Lowe's store and I picked up this really cool Jack Skellington 18.9 inches tall inflatable so that'll be really cool. It is USB powered and I have talked to a friend. Shout out to I believe his name is Darth Sidious on YouTube and I did purchase the Evil Witch the new variants for the 2021 Halloween season. Really, really cool. I am super excited about setting her up and seeing how she looks. I've seen her in my store, um, but they unfortunately did not have her turned on. So without further ado, I am going to go ahead and unbox this and show you guys basically everything here. So sorry for the terrible camera view. As I'm doing this, you can just go ahead and take a quick look at Wacky Mole, as you can see him in the background. I did go back to my Spirit Halloween just to kind of check to see if they had any more Harvester of Souls available for purchase. And unfortunately they did not. So the very kind lady that helped me to take my name and number down, and I'm just going to return him in store, exchange him out for a new one because he is a really cool animatronic and I truly don't want to return him and get anything else because he is very cool and he will be one of the main attractions this year for sure when he will be, I believe, in my driveway. I'm still kind of thinking about how I want to set up things this year, so we're not too entirely sure. All right. So, this is the good look of the inside of the box. As you can see, the witch hat is on top. Everything is very nicely packaged in there. Here's the hat. It is kind of flat. Um, the broomstick, the head. I did, ooh, and I didn't even know this, but she actually comes with a try me button. I did not know that. I have not purchased a new, any new Halloween animatronics from Lowe's in a long time. So as you can see, it comes with a try me button. Jimmy really stepped their game up with providing those. Here's the witch broom. We'll set the hat off to the side. I am a very big fan of the witch's face. I love the older Jimmy face mold. As you can see here, very high quality latex. I love, love, love how that is coming back. And then here's the mechanism. So in fact, this is very, very, very similar to the Witch with Trey, the 2009 Jimmy Witch with Trey, with the plastic chest piece and the plastic shoulders, the same old style Jimmy head rotating piece. Here's a tech, we can take a good look at the back here. She does, I believe, I'm not sure if she comes with batteries. I think the box said it did, and I'm pretty sure she comes with an adapter too. I'll have to take a better look at that, but you can install, I believe, four AA batteries into her or use the included adapter, I believe she does. And then obviously there is a try me jack for the try me button that is included. The hands are wrapped up really, really nice and well. I do love the switch. In fact, it is very easy that if something was to happen, if she quit swaying side to side, it is powered by a little rubber belt, so it's a lot easier to get into than the older Jimmy Witches. So in the event something does happen, she's a lot easier to fix. The poles are wrapped up in foam. That's a really nice touch to keep them from scratching or damaging any of the parts in the box. And then here's the base. The only thing I really have to complain about with this specific model, I believe even the past couple models of the Switch, the base is actually, I mean, it's metal, which is really nice. However, the part, the poles are right and directly in the middle. If they could have done two, one on each side, that would have been better. So equal two in total, so one on each side. I wish they would have done that because that would be a lot better than just the one in the middle because she does kind of get tipsy a little bit, I've seen based on the way she moves. Um, I'm not too sure. Maybe she could set sideways like that and that may help it better. I'm not too sure. But I am going to get this witch together and I'm going to bring you along with me. So just kind of bear with me guys here as I get through this. I've never put this one together so I may have to read the instructions. I may have to speed this up if it gets a little too slow. But as far as I'm aware, everything does look pretty straightforward. This witch is definitely a very, very cool animatronic. I do love this variant the best out of all of them. I did plan on getting the uh, golden outfit because I really did like that one. But now that we're looking at this one, I think this one looks better. The try me button is made by Jimmy. I mean, obviously kind of straightforward. It says try me on it. Really, really nice that they included that. 
I'm not too sure I will be using this try me button specifically on this witch, but I will definitely probably be, probably be using that on another animatronic this year. Okay, so there's that. She does look to have some sort of cord attached to her. I assume this is the top piece. Yes, so this is the top of her. I believe this is the rest of the dress. And actually guys, I don't believe she even comes with instructions. I, not unless I look too, over them too much. Actually, I, nope, they're in her head, with her head. Okay, so. I'm kind of a noob at this one, so. <laughs> Just bear with me guys. As we take this plastic off and show her head really quick. Here's the head, very nice. High quality, Jimmy, latex, or rubber, I mean, not latex. Um, but actually, usually most of the time, the heads ha are white here, and they have that little white plastic shell. In fact, they're actually black, and that's something new, because I believe most of them back in the day weren't like that, so that may be a new Jimmy, Jimmy touch, so that's pretty cool. And I do apologize if you hear a puppy in the background barking, that's my, uh, new puppy we just adopted the other day. Okay, so yes, got those in there. The next thing is place the dress over the frame. Okay, so that was doing that right. I just want to confirm and make sure. Next time I go into Lowe's, I will definitely tour um, the store with you guys because that is something for sure. I would love you guys to be able to see The costume is definitely a different material from um, the older Jimmy witches goes over this way. Then I believe the next thing here Yes, okay. So then our next part would be taking that so she is snapping she does snap to lock. Very nice, very nice, definitely. Pretty straightforward. So, I will pause the video and come back just so this isn't really, really long. All right, guys, so I've got her set up. It was a little bit of a challenge getting the coat on. I guess I just didn't know what I was doing there, but I did finally manage to get it on. Then getting the broom through the hand was kind of a little bit of a challenge, so just be aware of that when you buy the Switch. This witch is very, very cool. Jimmy has definitely stepped their game up due to the face being really, really nice rubber for it being such a new animatronic and stuff is being made a little bit different than what it was back then. Nowadays, they actually fill in the nose and this is actually plastic inside. Like this is a hard plastic nose inside of the rubber. So it will not be deformed when you get your witch. The only thing I mean that could really happen is it melt, but honestly, that's the least likely thing to ever happen. Just due to the rubber being nice, it's not gonna melt unless you've got like extreme temperatures, which probably won't even too much. Um, but this witch is made very well. The, the face is really nice. My biggest complaints, the two biggest complaints are the pole structure is one pole straight through the witch. So as you can see, she leans. She is meant to lean like this. 
However, I did have to add a couple weights to her back. And the reason why is because with that broom being attached to her hand, she leans a lot and I don't want her to tip over and fall and break. So I do have those weights on her. And she will always lean off a little more to her right or our left, just because of the broom, the mechanism, that's just kind of the way it's built. So be kind of aware of that. I wish that they would have, instead of doing one pull straight in the middle, do one on each side, just to kind of give her a little more stability and make her you know, hold up a little bit better as opposed to potentially falling over if she, you know, sways too much. That being said, the hat, unfortunately, does not Velcro onto the witch's head. It just kind of sits on there, but the detail is really, really nice on the dress and on the hat. I really, really like this witch, and I am so happy that I did purchase her today for a very good price of $149. This evil witch is probably the best variant out of all three of them. In my opinion, I know there could be a lot of people that would agree or disagree, and I feel like a lot of people would agree with me that that is the case because her outfit is just so cool. It kind of reminds me of a swamp hag, if that makes sense, you know, with the green on the side and the black broom, and then of course the green and black on the back, or maybe that's brown. No, it's like a greenish color. It's a really kind of like a brownish green color, if that makes sense. The hair, I love the hair. The hair is actually attached to the head. The mouth moves very, very well on this witch, and I could not be more impressed with the face mold on this witch than what it already is. Jimmy did an, a, a fantastic job with including a try me button for the switch, and please don't mind my dirty floor on, in the basement. I'm in my basement right now. Um, but they included this try me button for free, so every witch comes with that a free adapter and she comes with free four AA batteries already installed so that is amazing i love that without further ado though we will go ahead and test the switch out i will show you kind of be cautious she will stay off to one side a little more than the other but that is just how she is made so we'll just kind of tap the trimmy button and see how she works Oh, there she is. She kind of centered herself there. So, you want some treats? <laughs> is that a mask? <laughs> this witch is very, very, very cool, everyone. I would highly recommend purchasing her. If you're on the debate of purchasing a Lowe's Evil Witch, out of all three of the variants, the Golden... There we go kind of not focused there the golden dress is a very cool variant my least is the my least favorite is the black and gray um, and that's just kind of because it's the default evil witch it was the very first model produced and you know obviously with it being the first it could potentially have issues that the other ones don't but I'm not aware of those issues because this is my first model that I've ever owned and I'm very very happy with her I love the belt you actually have to tie it on there um, so that's really nice. I love the buttons down at the color. I love the outfit. This is the best outfit that Jimmy's came out with along with the way she was built. Couldn't recommend her more than what she already, um, what I already have. She is definitely well worth the money and I honestly may pick up another one and hold on to it. Just have one extra in case this one breaks or in case, you know, later on down the road, you can't find them anymore. Um, I will have one available in the event that you do need to purchase one later on down the road. I may be able to have one if i do purchase i will definitely let you guys know but i would definitely encourage you to purchase this girl built very well love the belt buckle love the hands the plastic hands i don't know if this one is like the other first model um the first model the clothing would kind of leave black marks on the the green hands and that's unfortunate because it's kind of stained and won't come off i don't know if this one's like that or not i truly hope it's not but if it is, we won't notice that till later on down the road where she's, you know, been activated a lot more. But this one will definitely fit well with my home haunt this year. And I definitely look forward to bringing you guys along, you know, the journey with me. And I appreciate it so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one.